In this first section, we're going to go over variables and how Ruby uses them and what the right syntax is. This is going to be a very quick lesson uh, because they're pretty easy to understand. If you're an experienced developer, you can scan through it, get an idea of what the syntax is, and you'll be off to the races. If you've never done any programming before, that's perfectly fine. This will be a really important lesson for you. Uh, variables are some of the fundamental building blocks of programming. Uh, using a variable is how you're going to store information. And you'll find out later that uh, variables can store more than just one thing. So say that I wanted to do something like store my name. So I can type in name equals Jordan, hit run, and you can see that it has that value there. And we'll get into printing out output and things like that in the next lesson. But what if I wanted to put uh, more than just uh, right, my name and my name is what's called a string in Ruby it's a string data type what if I wanted to put more than just my name in a variable could I do that so I think I definitely can so what if I wanted to put my uh, my full address so I want to do address I'm not gonna give you guys my real address but uh, I can do something like one two three any street avenue comma in any town comma in texas that is where i'm at so if i hit run now you can see that this prints out this but it adds these brackets in now these brackets mean that it's an array and we're going to go into a lot of detail on what arrays are and how to use them but the important thing i wanted to show you is a variable can hold more than just a string like this. It can hold a uh, an array. It can in Ruby can actually hold a method. So you could assign an entire process and behavior to a variable, and then you could use that variable to essentially be a shortcut to run later on. So uh, that's something called when we'll get into that when we start covering procs and lambdas later on in the course. But that's how you assign variables in Ruby. As you can see, it's very straightforward. Uh, there's not a lot of things you have to know from a syntax point of view. Uh, some of the differences you may notice compared with other languages like JavaScript, or C is I didn't have to one I didn't have to put a semicolon at the end Ruby can recognize that uh, when I said Jordan and ended it that that's all I wanted and I also didn't have to put the data type so in other languages such as compiled languages I'd have to do something like string name equals Jordan so that it knew that this was a a string data type and then here I'd have to go some like array address and uh, every language handles it a little differently Ruby as a just-in-time interpreted language uh, I don't have to do that it automatically knows what data type it is by looking at what we're passing to it it knows that this is an array data type so I don't have to uh, I don't have to be explicit with it so that's pretty much all there is on how to set uh, basic variables and in the next few videos we'll get into some of the more advanced topics around it.